Welcome back to the Zahara Savannah Inc. channel on YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you subscribe so you don't miss a video ever. This vlog is going to be about, oh, it's just an update really. I wanted to check in on you guys. I wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with me. Can't. So excited. So excited. All right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Breast cancer is, I think, the most important cancer we need to be focused on. It affects so many people, men and women. Um, and it's so frequent, you know? Everyone should do uh, routine breast checks. And make sure if you do feel something that you go and you speak to a doctor just to then to double check. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month going on it's getting harder and harder for us to like really see the good and everything that's happening but we have to because that's when we keep going so um within the last week or so i've just been more focused on writing because i have i had writer's block for maybe the summer and i was super gone now it's like and when you have writer's block i think it's normally it's a it's because you are not in a space of like you can produce that's really what it is i mean you're a creative person producing is whatever your creative art is so if you're an artist and you can't draw you can't produce you know it's because you're going through something emotional mostly because to create even though creativity comes from dark spaces you have to be in a certain space to create you know so i was in writer's block you know i felt like i couldn't say the things i couldn't get my thoughts together i knew what i wanted to say but not in the way i wanted to say it so in the last week or so i've been focusing more on media and the sites that I want my words to be on, you know, shout out, I got onto Apple News through one of the sites that I work through, it's Tastemakers Collective, um, they're a pretty good site, a lot of these sites, I mean, if they're really based off writers, so, and, you know what I mean, they don't pay writers a lot these days, you know what I mean, it's hard to maintain sites like that, so, when I get an opportunity to write on a site, I always do my background, my due diligence, and check to see, you know, what the site is, and it's a, they're a pretty good site, so they have, um, their articles on Apple News as well, so their audience is obviously wide. Um, also started working for more of like a media kind of journalist kind of angle. I think I want to start doing interviews. Um, do, dodge, do, uh, sorry, Doxygen Media. I just started, I'm sorry. Doxygenmedia.com. Um, same deal, you know what I mean? It's like those types of sites, they're, it's a, they're that Doxygen Media is a new site, so with them it's like articles being on time and all that thing. So I'm just now joining in and getting in on the loop, but definitely spent time focusing on where I want my words to be. That's what I just said, right? So it's like urban news sharing. Um, if I'm going to blog, I don't want to write for Elite Daily. I want to write for a community that is more reflects me. I'm going to just be real. Like, you know what I mean? It's like eyes are raised. Like, I'm <laughs> all the black people to win. It's kind of like I'm not just saying I want all the black people to win because I'm not racist. I'm not pro-black. I'll say that. I'm not pro-black. I care about all races and I wanted to just be fair. I'm, I'm searching for equity at this point, not even equality. Because equity is when you make it easy for everyone to become successful. And that's the issue. Being a female in this country, being black in this country. I mean, my chances of success, you check the paperwork, it's like very low. So I'm already, I'm rare. I'm different. I have a master's degree. I'm successful in multiple things. You know what I mean? So... I'm very different already. So I want to make sure that my audience and my fans and the people that I'm connecting to truly understand what my message and my um, mantra and what we're trying to do is really about. I'm not saying that you can't write for other sites that, you know what I mean, are for other audiences or just generalized, but I want to make sure that my writing and my words hit the audience that I'm writing towards. And I'm writing for my own time. I'm writing for the black community, like I said in the previous vlog. So, that's what I've been doing. What you been doing? As a writer, I always find pressure to, um, like, match a certain online voice these days, where it's like, well, they write like this, or maybe Josh Jarrett, TMZ, or whatever, you know what I mean, writing media-based stuff, or entertainment-based news, I'm sorry. Um, or, like, if you're writing political stuff, you may feel, oh, you know, let me try to sound like the people on CNN, or the people on Fox, and it's very hard sometimes to maintain your own voice when there's so many other voices that are at a, uh, I guess you could say so many other voices that are expanded over yours. So it's kind of like, well, you didn't say it that way and that person is more known than you. So you should, you know what I mean? And it's like, I always struggle with that, but I'm at this point in my career and in my life where it's like, I seriously don't give a fuck. And I tell people all the time, when you become a person that don't give a fuck, I think that level just keeps growing. 
and I don't know how like where it's gonna go to but eventually I'll probably just not even be a real person like because <laughs> I really don't care about a lot of things anymore you know what I mean it's like but it's growth that's what growth is it's like you care about certain things then you just stop and then you're like you know what I'm gonna talk about the shit that I need to talk about and I don't know why I keep saying I don't care and I care but it's like I don't care now for real <laughs> about the non-caring part i do care i care about how i'm perceived you know because i'm trying to build a career but the career i'm trying to build is one based off myself and i'm an enigmatic person you know what i mean meaning i'm always different i mean i don't even know fully what my plans and life is going to be like so you know i'm not going to ever be one of those people that's like nope i've been doing this since i was a kid and this is what i do and that's not me you know and i get sometimes overwhelmed by that that i can do so many different things i have so much things that I want to talk about. I want to write about sex. I want to write about religion. I want to write about spirituality. I want to write about politics. I want to write about multiple things because there's so much things that are important to me. So, loosen your fears. Set yourself free. You got me thinking I'm Khaleesi. I started watching Games of Thrones. So it's like, I could do anything. <laughs> Sidebar. This video is going to be a short one. Short and sweet. That's how I normally like it, but sometimes I get into certain topics and there's so much things to say, like the last topic, like what happened to our culture. I mean, it was part two. I could have kept going, but I stopped. So this was going to be short. I just wanted to give you guys an update on where I, where, what I've been working on. And like I said, I'm joining in. I wanted to start conversations in my comment box below. So start commenting and let me know. If you need help, if you need a contact, or you just want to ask, you feel like you're alone and you need a friend or something like that. Because I feel like that a lot of times soon. I have friends people I can reach out to, but sometimes they can't help me. So let's get to know each other, really. You guys can email me, leave a message. I mean, it's super open, my forum. So, hi, your girl. Thank you for tuning in.